Hello guys, how are you all? Hope you all are going great. My name is Ashwin Govin. I am a cyber security instructor from Red Team Hacker Academy and I am a bug bounty hunter. This video I am going to talk about how we fail in bug bounty hunting and what are the reasons behind the failing of bug bounty hunting. Basically, bug bounty program is deal with or is offered by some other companies or some websites organization or software developers by which the individuals can receive money recognition uh, like that for reporting the bugs which is related to the security exploits and vulnerability so in this video i'm gonna tell you why do we fail at bug bounties you spend a lot of time a lot of hours a lot of days and days looking for a vulnerability still you haven't find single one so let's discuss why the reason uh, behind the failure of bug bounty uh, or how to succeed in the bug bounty let's discuss first one is scope the first of all double check that your submission is in scope this is the first thing while you need to note on choosing a program in a bug bounty hunting participating on a wrong program or wrong which is some program may downplay the severity of vulnerability to avoid the payments and some maybe did not respond on lack of the seriousness from the side so keep avoid these kinds of programs for testing and pick your programs carefully and investing time is all yours so that's all for scope and next one is choose so you don't need to choose on your or you don't need to stick with a single program if you target a program you should spend few hours or few days but still not finding any vulnerability so the reason is well experienced hackers already hacked your program that you have chosen so you have to differentiate by choosing the targets yourself from the from the competition or the submitting of the duplicates from the so how to differentiate to choose those programs i recommended the two ways first one is deep dig so deep dig into that application will gives you more complex bugs in that application and second one is the search searching widely so searching widely also discover and and you you find or discover the more more assets of that organization will find more bugs to you so doing all these takes time and don't expect to find bugs right away at your starting point or don't expect any bugs on on a fresh new program so after don't after this don't quit a program if you can't find any bugs right away then next one is recon recon this one of my favorite part of the bug bounty is recon without recon is the another way to fail at bug bounties the effective recon get you discover more more new attack surface or new subdomains new endpoints new functionalities all we can find by this process the recon the recon is the first phase in the hacking then the more you time you spend on the recons give you more advantages of the hackers and so you can find more bugs and you will and it will not to be for sure it will not be duplicate and and the other one is scanners so do not trust any scanners because most of the hackers or most of the bugs are discovered by the vulnerability scanners have already been re reported so do not rely on these scan kind of scanners then next one is obvious so what is the meaning of obvious obvious bug types which means the easily find or easily understandable bugs keep avoiding only looking for these kinds of bugs simple bugs on big targets have probably already been founded uh, for example stored cross site scripts on a edit profile page or the command pages is something that 
that many hackers will tested and they they found and they should be reported so they learn or develop a unique testing methodology that you that it will result in more valuable bugs and the next one is reports the major factor the major factor regarding to every every hacker is rely on the bug bounty is the bug bounty reports so you might fail to show your the severity of your bug that you found in your in that report and even if you find a critical bug and your report is not much informative you got a negative there. and so so proper bug report uh, with a lot of information should be triad and and explain the every impact accurately in that report so it should be very very good benefit for you so uh, i hope you understand all of these all of these things and I expect then some of the tips uh, for you tips to improve this bug bounty hunting is be patient and learn more techniques from the community don't quit a program if you can't find a bugs so thank you thank you for watching bye bye take care